Hey, it's Aaron from the LC. Welcome to my sixth edition of Craft Brew Review. Typically, I do this uh, once a week, but I gotta tell you guys, I've been looking up more and more reviews on YouTube and other places just to kind of get my feel for what I'm doing. Because self-admittedly, about a month ago, I started doing this with about zero real information on beer. I've been drinking beer since I'm 21. I'm 34 years old now. So it's been a long time. But I just figured, you know what? Now is the time to really understand what it is that I'm drinking, what it is I'm putting in my body, and really what it is that everybody's out there working so hard nowadays to uh, put out there for everybody to try. And it's just an exciting time for me. And I've had these conversations with people with craft brews is that man there's never been a better time as far as i know or can think of than now with all the micro breweries and the macro breweries and it's forcing even some of the uh the bigger boys to step it up in their game and get a little more creative with what they're doing so i think in the end everybody wins especially the consumer okay today i have a special little treat i have a growler uh, I filled this up on 828 and today is 831. So three days ago I stopped into the Big Wood Brewery Tap Room. Get a little close up on these guys here. I like these guys a lot. They're in my hometown. Big Wood Brewery. They got a lot of killer beers coming out of there. And the fun part about this tap room that you get to go into here. It's just an older feel to it. Um, a lot of just local good people to talk to. Um, it's not snooty. Uh, but then again, there's a lot of people that, that know their beer that hang out there. And it's just a lot of fun. So um, if you're from the area anywhere in the Twin Cities in Minnesota and you're watching this, I would recommend stopping into the Big Wood Tap Room and just checking out their selection. They always have a rotating draft selection that's really killer and they got a lot of good information for the people that are, are looking for that like myself so anyways what we have here today from big wood is called fine f-i-n-e fine um it's a uh it's an ipa which is my favorite i was gonna wait one week and i'm supposed to do these weekly i just like i said i can't wait anymore and i've been looking at so much stuff that i don't think this can just be a weekly thing Therefore, I'm kind of breaking the rules today. I'm breaking into this growler early, number one. And number two, um, today is Wednesday, not Sunday. So I'm breaking the rules uh, and, I'm, and I'm jumping the gun a little bit early in the week. But I just can't help myself. There's too much passion here for me to, to hold it inside. So let's see what we have in this, this bottle here. I really can't wait. So... The alcohol by volume on this is 6.5 percent. It's pretty good, uh, pretty good beer to get you buzzed up if that's what you're looking for. Um, the IBUs are 75 on this, so that's pretty high up there. Um, should have before I even look at it, should have a citrusy um, aroma to it. Um, my favorite, I've said it a million times, are those IPAs, just because I don't know when they add those hops there at the end. There's just um, there's something that's so special. It's almost magical that happens when those hops get added. Um, and I think a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about that, that appreciate those those higher IBU beers. Um, it's just a, a, a layer of depth that is it's almost infinite at times and it feels um, feels like you're at home when you when you get those flavors mending in your mouth. Um, so without further ado, this is called Fine, and this is by Big Wood Brewery in White Bear Lake. Grrr. Let's check her out. Oh, it's kind of heavy. I'm not that strong either. Oh, how am I going to do this? Okay. Should I have, should have an assistant here to help me. First impression, you can see a nice amber color 
I would say it's a soft orange. Unfiltered. A hazy orange. A hazy unfiltered slightly amber orange color. I didn't even put this anywhere near my nose yet. And I can already smell some tropical some tropical aromas coming out of there. I don't know if it's all right, let me get a little closer and see. Whoa. <laughs> That smells really good so far. I didn't even barely get in there, but okay. With that little sniff, I caught a uh, slight grapefruit, um, a little pear, I'm sure I saw in there somewhere. I'm really excited before I go any further. This beer, I'm actually really excited to drink. Um, uh, just because the description that I read on it, um, the IBUs, unfiltered, unpasteurized, um, it just sounded very unique, and I was really excited to break it out. So let me get a better nose on this thing here. Pear, mango, papaya, papaya, strong papaya. Oh my God, a very, very strong papaya. It was confusing there for a minute. It's almost star fruit. Okay, we have a whole smorgasbord of citrus smells going on here, guys, but this is like not your average um, hoppy citrusy smell. This is something that's so deep that I'm having a really hard time picking out all these different um, these different smells. Hold on, let me keep going. Let's roll this around a little more. I cannot wait to put this in my mouth. Oh yeah, citrus, mango, papaya, um, just Touch of sweetness, touch of malt. Um, obviously hopped to the max. I can just smell those aromas are just crawling. I mean, they're just crawling out of this glass up into my nose. It's, it's almost tingling my sensations as I just uh, breathe it in. It's amazing. Okay, for the taste. Oh my God. Sweet to begin with, right off the bat. Very sweet. Almost. Okay. Sweet, citrusy, orange, grapefruit, mango, papaya, lingering papaya. That's so funny because it comes through for me in that order, and then that papaya just kind of lingers. And now, it's coming with the hop finish. I can feel the hops there biting my the back of my tongue. Um, with 75 IBUs, I cannot believe how smooth this beer is. This might be, um, I'm, not, I'm not lying, this might be one of the best beers I've ever had in my entire life, but this is the style of beer that I like. I'm going to dig in here. Tropical, malty, slightly. Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of those mornings when you wake up and there's eggs cooking on uh, in the kitchen and, and there's bacon cooking. And you're waiting at the table and you can smell everything and your stomach is just uh, eager to, to get into the meal. And you have a little glass of orange juice or grapefruit juice or um, um, maybe you have uh, a mimosa or something of that sort anyways, um, a little citrusy beverage before your breakfast. That's the memory that comes back into my head as I sip on this and I drink this and I gulp this is um, I could drink this beer at breakfast. I don't know if I'd recommend doing that because of the alcohol uh, by volume being at 6.5%, but I can tell you right now, excuse me, this is, um, it's very drinkable. 
it would probably put you on your butt after about three. But uh, how about this? If I if I dug into this growler and got halfway into there, I bet that I'd be feeling pretty good. Um, this is available only January through June at Bigwood Brewery. Um, again, I said these guys are doing a really good job over there. Um, I haven't even tried all their beers because they switch them out so often that uh, I don't have enough time to get in there and try everything that they do. But they do a really good job. Before I go, I just wanna I, I wanna give you guys a little more of what I'm what I'm feeling out of this because I'm, this is a special beer for me. I'm really really happy right now that I found this beer because I'll probably go back and get this um, to drink sociably by myself, um, not reviewing beer. And if you can find a beer that, that you can say that about, I think you'll be a happy camper sticking with that. So that being said, cheers. I forgot to talk about the head notes. Uh, it's very light head on it. It dissipates quickly. It almost didn't head up at all when I was pouring it. I had to almost pour the beer straight down at the end there. If you saw in the beginning of the video how as I was pouring it, it wasn't wasn't foaming up much. Um, I can't tell you exactly why that is, guys. But I know that I'll learn more in the future, as I'm sure you're going to learn more with me. Um, I just ask that you stick around through these videos. I mean, it's going to be exciting together, as you see. And if there's somebody that knows what you're talking about, um, it's got to be fun to see somebody like myself grow in uh, in the beer world and understand things a bit better. Because really, I have a passion for it. Um, I don't drink just to drink. I drink to socialize. I drink to um, to have a great time and just hopefully have an experience with the drink that you're drinking. Um, if it's good enough, it will be memorable. And if you drink it, it should bring you back to some different times in your life when, uh, when you were, you were drinking it or maybe even other memories like my, my bacon and egg story. So with that being said, guys, cheers. Aaron from the LC. Till next time, I'll see you later.